Hello folks, this is Up and Up by Coldplay. I'm gonna show you all the parts I played in the video. I'm starting with the finger-picked guitar intro played on the acoustic. I arranged the keys for the guitar, which sound pretty good as well. So you can just play the chords if you like, but if you wanna spice it up a little bit, just read along the tab and I will explain what I do. So the first chord is a G chord. So you can just play a G or play the melody of the piano in the guitar. Okay, that's the first bar. It's played in G, so your middle finger should be on the G. On the sixth string, fret three. And your index finger plays fret two on the third on the G string. So, and you do a hammer on from fret two to fret four. That's your first note. Play it together with the sixth string and the fourth and the third. Those three strings, you plug them together. And then you do a hammer on with your pinky. The hammer on can be quite difficult sometimes, but it's important you can learn it with your pinky. So the first note. Got it down. Nice. Good way to start. And then your thumb plays the bass note. And then you plug the chord again with your middle and index finger. So the first four notes. And then the thumb again. So then you release your pinky, so the third and the fourth string are open. And now you play thumb, chord, thumb. And when I uh, say chord, I mean just the high, the high notes of the chord. Thumb, chord, thumb. So after the thumb, chord, thumb, you play fret 2 on the 3rd string together with the D string and then you play the thumb again the last note of the bar so the first bar in total sounds like this got it down very nice so the next chord is gonna be a D chord but we want to spice it up a little bit, so we playing we play it like this. You have to uh, first only press down your ring finger on the third fret on the second string, so the B string, and then you play a hammer on with your index finger on the third string from an open string to fret number two. So that's our first our first note, and then thumb and chord again. So. Thumb chord, and now your thumb plays a D string, and after the D string, there's your pinky on fret four of the D, which is an F sharp, which makes it a D over F sharp. And F sharp is just a note of the D chord as well, so you can use this as a substitute for a D chord anytime you like, it sounds good. So, open fret four, and then you play the chord again. And then the thumb again. And then you can release your pinky and your index finger. And then you play the second and the third string together. Open index finger, so no index finger. And then with your index finger on fret two again. And that's your whole bar. So bar number two sounds like this. And I suggest you leave your pinky on there. So do not remove it until we finish that bar. I told you otherwise earlier, but that's better. Then we've got our E minor chord. So at first the E minor you play just the third string or the third string and the fourth string together with your thumb. And then you play the fourth string. So bam bam. So this is kind of difficult rhythm. You play the chord and then the fourth string and then you do a syncopated part. So it's chord, thumb, chord, thumb, chord. Yeah, got it. Do you play those notes right after each other? The thumb, the in, uh, the fourth, the third, and the second string. And now your bass note changes to G. You can leave that out, but I thought it sounds cool, and you hear it in the song as well. 
So the E minor chord is a bit difficult to play, but it sounds like this played slowly. One more time, last time. Okay, and the next chord is going to be a C chord, but we have to fret it a little bit different than we would normally do because we need our fret number two on the third string. So what I do, my ring finger plays a C, which you would normally do. My index finger plays the second fret on the fourth string, and my middle finger plays second string on the third string. I mean the second fret on the third string. Excuse me. So we got a C at six or a C6, or an A minor over C. Depends on what you call it. If you play a chord, you can just play a C chord. That sounds best. So, and the bar is like this. So you play the fourth and the, uh, the third and the fifth string together, the thumb and the middle finger, and then your index finger. And then you play the fifth and the third together again, and then you do a hammer on with your middle finger from the fret open to fret number two. So the first four notes. And then you play the thumb again and your middle finger again. And then the thumb again, and then you play the third string and then a pull off. Yeah, a pull off. And then thumb, index, middle. Your C triad over there. So the C bar is played like this, the last bar of the core of the verse. Slowly again. So that was the verse. I'm gonna play it one more time slowly and one more time at full speed, and then it's time for you to practice. speed okay that's the verse play it on the guitar if you want to just play the chords remember G D E minor and C will do but this sounds so much cooler okay so now after the chorus in the chorus you hear the acoustic guitar as well just playing a strumming pattern, a basic strumming pattern. So there's not much to it, it's just four chords, a G chord. And it's just playing 16th notes. And he's making some alterations, but the main guitar part is like like this, just down up, 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 down up. Sixteen times down up. Sixteen times eight times down up. So two, three, four, and D. Two, three, four. So a G and a D. Any G will do, any D will do. So you can play a G like this, like this, like this doesn't matter it sounds all good it all sounds good D chord just your regular D shape and then the F chord well I think this F sounds the best thumb on the sixth if you can't do it just don't play the sixth string your ring finger pinky middle finger and index finger the first string can be muted as well and then the C chord just your regular C and I like to add the oh, 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 oh part in over there and that's played like this the third fret on the second string and then fret one and then open fret one again open again and then G string open and it's like this C and then you continue with the G 
So, and that is the guitar part in the se right after the second chorus, the guitar changes from an F to an E minor chord. So he plays G with the high notes, la 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 la. So after you play the second chorus, there's a little bit before the guitar solo is G and D and then E minor and then C. Okay, and that's the acoustic guitar for now. I'm continuing this tutorial with the electrical. Okay, so the first time we hear the electrical guitar, it's in the chorus where you play the 16th note strumming pattern, and you just play your basic triads over there. So the G chord uh, triad, the D chord, the F chord, and the C chord triad. And he plays it like this. The second, the third, and the fourth string are all pressed down on fret number 12. That's your G chord over there. And I like to do it with just one finger because I'm a little bit lazy, but you can do it like this as well. But I like to do it just with one finger. And then the second chord, your D chord, fret 12, fret 11, and fret number 10. Those three in a row. D chord. And then you do exactly the same, but then two frets lower. So from F to C is the same as from G to D. The same, uh, yeah, chord structure. So F, 10, 10, and 10. And then the C is exactly the same as the D, but then one fret, well, sorry, excuse me, one whole note lower, two frets, 10, 9, and 8. Okay, so that's the chorus. He plays that in the chorus and just repeating those patterns. And then in the second verse, there is this slide guitar he starts playing. You can see him do it live. So I'm not a slide guitar hero, but I'm, this guitar is not especially set up for a slide guitar, so it's pretty difficult to play with a slide on this guitar. But I'm gonna show it anyway. So you play on fret 12, and then you do a swell, and the swell, has to be after you hit the strings. So you hit the strings, and then you open up your vo volume pot. On fret 12, both on fret 12, and then you go to fret number seven, and then you open up again. So 12, three, four, seven, three, four, and then you go to fret five, two, three, four, and then fret five, and then you slide down and then you close your pot again. So it fades away. Um, this is not a good sound. You need some delay in the sound and some pretty heavy reverbs because it will sound uh, more fluently if you do it like that. Here it is. That's the slide part. Okay, and after the slide part, in the second verse, he plays a little bit of a downward pattern. Just eight times fret 12. Eight times fret number 10. And then fret eight. One, two, three, four. And then you end on fret five for one beat. So it's just fret 12, one bar, fret 10, one bar, and fret eight, two bars, except for the last beat of, this, of the fourth bar. He plays uh, an E, so fret 5 on the, all on the second string. Just two times before you go to the chorus and then he plays the, the chords again. That is the electrical guitar part of the verse and the chorus and now off to the lead. This guitar solo part. So this guitar solo is pretty much based around the G major pentatonic scale. So I checked a live video of him playing it. Uh, you can play the G scale anywhere on the neck and he plays it exactly like I figured out. The notes I figured out are, I'm sure, 100% correct. So um, yeah, have fun playing it. It's what he plays and the, uh, the way he plays it. So uh, the position he plays, the shapes. Yeah, okay, so the first lick he repeats three times. He plays a G major pentatonic scale from G to A to 
B. So 10, 12, 14. 12, 14, 12, 14, 12. And then a bend from 12 to 13. So a half note. And then 14 and 12 on the G string again, and 14 and 12. So that is played three times in the song. That's the lick downwards. So he plays um, when you end up. And then fret 12 and 13. That's the position he plays it in as well. So that's the first ending of the part. And then he does the same. He plays the last lick like this. So that's the ending of the first part of the guitar solo. And then he goes to the higher notes. So, and then he plays 12 and 12 on the G and the B string. And then he goes to a high G note, which he plays a lot in the song. Yeah, so. And then you slide up from 15 to 17. And then 17 on the B string, and 17 on the B string again. Uh, 15, excuse me, 17 and 15. Remember that one as well. So when you go the last time on the 15, you go to fret number 20 all the way up the neck. And then 20, 19, 17, 20 on the B string, 17 on the A, E string, 17 on the B string, and 20 on the B string. And then 17, 18, 17, 19, 17 on the G and the B, 17, 19 on the G, 16, 17, 15, 17. So that's the beginning of the next bar already. And now you continue with the high notes. And then you have the 17, then you play the 17, the 17th fret on the B string, and then 18, uh, 18, and then 16 and 17 on the G string, 17 on the B string. And then a run downwards, 15, 15, 17, 16, 14 and 17 on the D string, that's your last note. And then you go to the chorus again. Okay, and that's the main part of the song. And the last thing he plays, the outro, is another guitar lick. So the outro is played again with a guitar lead, uh, lead sound. Um, you start on fret 13. So you play 13 six times. And then 12, 10, and then five times eight. First bar, second bar, 13, to 15, and then back to eight. And you play the, uh, the fret eight, you play seven times. And then you do a small bend, a half note on fret 10. And 
and there he plays the G string together with the eighth note. It's a little bit random, I think, but you can just play them together. So that's the rhythm. And that is the last lick, and that is everything in this song, played by the guitar and more. I teach you more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel because more awesome videos will be coming, and you will never miss a new video of me. So, and like the video if you have enjoyed it or if you had learned something from it. Let me know what you think, and see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.